I remember the first rehearsal I had with the Elias Quartet in London uh, for the audition. Um, and I'd never met them before, I didn't know them at all. The only person I knew was Matt Hunt, the clarinetist. We were all at the right time of our lives to, to come to Sheffield. Everyone was in the same boat and it, was a, it felt like a very um, strong collective will, if you like, amongst us all. I didn't speak a word of English, so I have very weird memories of the beginning, especially four hours meetings with Peter Cropper, where I didn't get a word. So everything was new. I remember being invited to play within the first year and I arriving at the venue and I couldn't believe how beautifully everybody was playing. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to be quite scary. But because of the, the approach that everybody has and the integrity that everybody plays with, you do fit in. Being in Ensemble 360 is um, a really wonderful thing for me personally. I really relish the, the idea that we play so many different genres of music. The May Festival is really um, special in that way because we really do kind of exhaust all our possibilities and from one day to the next we're playing so many different types of music which can feel a little bit alarming at times but it really does I think in the end bring out the best in everyone. For me one of the really great things about being in the ensemble especially in Sheffield is the audience that comes to watch us and the building that we work in. I love uh, the studio. I, I feel that the atmosphere in there is very scary but what I love about the audience is you feel that they're always with you on whatever journey you're on. To be in Ensemble 360 means for me uh, coming home and it's becoming even family. I don't think I'm, I'm over speaking by, by saying that. So it's a very nice feeling. The social side of the ensemble is very special and the post-concert element of, con of, of the ensemble is as important, I think, as the concert. And, you know, you bond so strongly with people over music. It's an ensemble where everybody trusts each other so much and they accept everybody exactly how everybody is. So to know each other with years and time outside is really helping the music. I like the way everybody's grown as well. It's really developed as a, as a sound, as a sound of a whole, but of the individuals as well. I think that's a really wonderful thing, that perfect combination of feeling free with yourself but also being part of something. What I love is the mini festivals that we do. There is nothing better for putting us together even more and to making us knowing each other even more. One of the things I really enjoy is the community work and I love the pieces that we do with Polly Ives. Uh, done by Paul Reisman and Sir Scallywag and the Golden Underpants was my favourite of all of those. I think every concert now feels special with the ensemble, in fact. Everything we do, the last concert in this year's festival, 2015 festival, it was really stunning and everyone, every single person looked comfortable and looked happy and looked as though they could do anything they wanted on their instruments. I really just hope that the group can go from strength to strength and I don't see any reason why it can't. I think what we do here with um, Music in the Round is incredibly special and we're very privileged to be part of it. I don't need more than what we have, to be honest. I want to be here for the next 20 years and more. <laughs> I would like us as an ensemble to continue making great music um, and I'd also like to see us playing in more venues around the country and just to show people how good we are, really. For me, the main thing is just to keep playing this music. You know, if this music doesn't stop being great and you just have to play it again and again and again, and it's, you grow as a person, everyone else listening will grow, and it's, that's just what I want to do.